all together, family! Yay! Family! Oh, two cheers! Okay. Mmm. Hey, friends. It is October. We live in Texas, though, so you would never know. You wouldn't know that it wasn't the hot middle of summer. So we love having an extra ice maker. In fact, we have a couple. I'm just going to fill it with water right now. And we are going to have some drinks today. I want to show off how awesome this is. So I just turned it on right here. It's telling me to fill it with water, which I did. So I just need to reset it. Okay. And then also add water. So everything you have right here. So there are a couple really cool things about this that I love. But number one, I really just have love having a portable ice maker because like I said, we live in Texas and it's hot all the time. It is October and it was 95 degrees today. So, and we live in North Texas. So, oh, good luck to those people in South Texas, right? So we love this. Okay. A couple things. You, it's portable. So you can carry it around. You can take it to party, outside, friends, whatever. Um, it gives all these awesome indicators. Okay, number two, I've got my microphone on and it's right up next to this and it is very quiet. So that's always, that's always nice because if you obviously have something really loud, that's not going to be fun to take to a party <laughs> or have in your house or disrupt you at night when you sleep. So that's also a really nice feature. Number three, I love that you can control, you saw me pour the water in, you can control what water goes into it. So if you have a fridge ice maker, you are hooked up to your tap water and you might have a filter in your fridge, but you are still using your tap water. So if you want to filter your water in another way, or maybe you have like a filtration system in your house, you have a, you know, like a Berkey type filter, you can control the water that goes in there, which, which always helps. Now, I personally like to clean this out once a month, like water, water's in it all the time. It is always circulating through it, but it is in it and water sitting in it. Everybody knows what happens. It can, can just get a little uh, slimy, I guess. That's probably the best word, although it's not the most appetizing. So this has a self-clean feature, which is so cool. So with the self-clean, so number one, you can drain it out here from the bottom. I don't want to tip it back because it does have, you know, freezer coolant and stuff in it, but it's right under here and it's just a little plug and you just unplug it and it drains all the way out. And when you're self-cleaning it, you fill it with water. You, I'm not going to tell you what to put in it, but consider that all of this water is going to go through it. So you can use whatever floats your boat right? I would use like a vinegar because it's not abrasive and it cleans things and it's anti everything. It will circulate everything through as through the cleaning feature. And then what it does, it just spits everything out. So when a normal cycle, it's circling the water through and then it's making ice. But in the cleaning feature, it's going to cycle everything through that you put in the water and then it spits everything out. So it's totally empty. So that's really cool. Like we are diapers on a plane. So we travel a lot. So sometimes we leave for long stretches of time and I'm like, well, I don't really want water sitting in here. And so I can empty it, but I can't necessarily get all the water out of the inside. So that is so cool. What are you saying? Totally traveling diapers. Traveling diapers. Oh, you did when you were littler. Uh, okay. Okay. So we are getting ready to have a nice tall glass of lemonade. And we got these cool, fancy cups. We're very excited. So I'm going to pass these out. So we are going to have our lemonade. And we are going to have some fresh ice and we're going to enjoy it. So I wanted to show that off. So while it continues to make the ice, it's about a six minute cycle. So it takes just a few minutes. But a couple of the other things that I like about it are that you can hold the scoop right here. So I have had another ice maker and you just kind of had to leave the ice scoop. Typically, I would leave it like right here, but sometimes it wouldn't always stay there. You know how it is. Lots of kids, lots of hands, lots of doing whatever they want. So that's really cool that you have a place to hold your ice scoop, but you can also see it is connected to the basket inside, which is also way cool. I love this handle because I have had these baskets break before, which obviously stinks. So you can also see it has a drain on this side and then this other side, it doesn't have a drain. So it is just holding the ice for you. I like that feature also. So I think those are all my favorite features about it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have another little friend that has decided they want some lemonade. We have got a full container of ice, you see? And we are going to have some cold drinks on this hot, hot summer day. There you go. And last? And last. Princess. All right, so you can see with a full container, we have got plenty still. We're going to keep our scoop in our handy dandy place. All right, who's ready for some lemonade? Me! Me! Not yet. 
Wait, let's do a cheer. No, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Okay, yeah. what should we cheer? What should we cheer? For ice? For summer? For family? All right, ice. Cheers. 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 Okay, for summer. Cheers. 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 And all together, family. Yay. Family. Oh, two cheers. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You say so yummy? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> say so yummy. Okay, <laughs> drink some more. I filled it too full for you. Can you drink some more? Oh, yeah, my lips turning red. Mm -mm. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's leave our drinks here.